Hey everyone, thank you for being here. We're just going live and doing a little technical check to make sure that you, um, yeah, that we don't have any unnecessary echoes. Here is Sire. I'm going to send you an invitation. Here you Yes. Other guns. Uh, other way around. That's better. Hey, <laughs> love. I still have a little echo here, so I'm just doing something here on my side. Let me check. How is this? Uh, Could you say? Uh, I guess it's good. Yeah, I think so too. I don't have any echoes. You don't have any echoes either. No, how is it on my end? Sounds good. Sounds sounds fine. Okay. That's fast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, great. Uh, if, if somehow some echoes turn on or, or happen to happen uh, also over there for viewers and listeners out there, um, please let us know because then we have some, some in, um, how do you say that, instilling, I wanted to say a Dutch word. Uh, then we have some some <laughs> things. Um, hey, welcome! I'm so grateful that you're here. Um, it is uh, another uh, well time for another soul care life class. A beautiful one today, uh, with a beautiful, beautiful dear guest who is also a dear friend and even has been a client and also has been in my life for many years now and you know so close to my heart. You beautiful one. Um, so today's guest is Sarah van Wonderen, and I will give you a little introduction to to who she is and what she does. And she will do more of that today, of course, and share all about her expertise and her her life's path. Um, and today's topic is how to find clarity uh, with family constellations, and um, with or through doing family constellations so we will dive all into systemic work um and this beautiful ancient almost a shamanic practice it can be seen as and it is um well it, it is one of the methods i love working with myself and it's such a, a pleasure and honor to may um dive into this topic with you dear sar uh because i know that this is a, a big passion of yours as well and if, if anyone is sensitive and good at this i believe it is you um sensitive for it but also you know have the gifts and the skills to to have the strength to be grounded at the same time enough to may um guide spaces and people in this method and uh, that says a lot about the people that are able to do this um so yes i, I might um uh, repeat the topic every now and then just for people watching today uh, that hop on a little later if you have any questions that is now as you are with us live but also as we are recording this as a podcast if you feel you have any questions uh, we will make sure that you can find all the information to uh, to Sarah and her work um, in the show notes and also if you want to ha ask me or our team any questions please reach out, find all the information you need for that in the show notes as well. I hope that you stay until the end because we have a, well, you're in for a treat. A beautiful exercise might happen as well at the end. And uh, I believe that um, that today's topic will, will go deep and wide and it, it, will be, um, it will be one of a lot of value, I hope, for you as well. I know it is for me and I've come to know Sarah and I think it's, it is for her too. It's such a beautiful gift in life. Mm -hmm. um, so before I um, dive into talking on my own, the, the point is here to, to have a shared conversation, of course. So, mm -hmm. so I will give a little introduction and then uh, I'll, I'll give space um, to help you get to know Sar and to have Sar introduce herself. Um, so as, as I have um, come to understand Sar is is a beautiful wide um, skilled and also trained professional so 
you're not only an entrepreneur building your your businesses uh but you have a background really solid background in um uh, event management and planning um you've 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 studied like uh, many studies really and courses um so there's not only a really strong foundation um you've also been doing the the work not only the thinking but also the doing and putting it here on earth and that is a strength of you and um with this you're actually a beautiful guide for others as you started out also for kids but also for adults um to help them let their light shine and um help them grow and step into their power um and not not only maintain but really grow their gifts and and stand for it and i guess this is something that this world needs more and more of um especially now and it is an honor to may serve alongside you uh as as the beautiful um yeah the warrior you are <laughs> um creating value and serving so many people and with that helping them kind of build on emotional stability and safety and do also the deeper body work the the, the physical layers not only the the mind and the spirit and the heart but the body work the physical part can be one of the toughest most dense energies for us human beings to to get to that level and it takes a as i see it a big amount of of consciousness and willingness and courage to to go to that level and here is sar oh, wow. being willing and courageous <laughs> um this is a bit of a a bit of an introduction and uh, i'm just checking in with you sar did i leave out on anything is there anything that you'd like to add here on what you do um well, no, not really. I'm stunned by the beautiful introduction. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome, dear. I'm, I'm happy that that it was, um, well, that that I didn't leave out on too much. <laughs> well, no, no, no. I don't think you. Uh, I don't think you left um, um, uh, anything out, and especially about the subject. Um, there's so much to say, so it's hard to. It's good to contain it a, um, a bit as an introduction. Mm. Oh, thank you for saying that. Yes, true. There's so much to say about this topic. And I'll just repeat it. How to find clarity with or through family constellations. And um, and in this meaning, the, the psychotherapeutic um, approach and interventions around systemic work is what we call family constellations. Um, but maybe that's that's a bit of an, a short explanation, but maybe you'd like to to bring us along a little bit in uh, before we dive into what what it what the topic means to you. I'd love to ask if you could maybe give a little bit of a definition or explanation as how you see systemic work and family constellations, what it means for people that have never heard about it yet. Well, um, I think uh, uh, systemic work and family constellations are um, two different um, two different views. Uh, you can you can work, work systemically with a system, and that can be anything, um, anything with other people uh, or concepts even. But a family constellation um, really revolves around your family and that um, how you stand in your family. Constellation uh, immediately reflects how you go through life. So, in my opinion, they are uh, they are two different things. Mm -hmm. The family constellation is a bit more specific, uh, and um, the the systemic work can be applied in various ways. Mm -hmm. They're both awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I love that. Thank you for pointing that out. Um, to me, yeah, I see it the same way. It feels more like systemic work is like the overall umbrella kind of name for several yeah. um, approaches around how to work with family systems. Yeah. And family constellations is like one specific tool, a specific method within that 
or under that umbrella. Do, do, do you see it that way too? Yes, exactly. Um, family constellations, working with that um, is just a part of uh, systemic work. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for, for helping clarify that because some people might be listening to this um, having never heard about it or ha not knowing much about how uh, how this works. Could you maybe elaborate a little bit on what what systemic work is? How we can how how one that has not a back, does not have a background in coaching, you know, what, what what is that? And then what is family family constellations? What is it? Okay. Well, uh, systemic work is how you um, react and receive uh, interaction with other people. So basically how you interact with others, how that affects you. Uh, and with uh, systemic work, you can uh, observe uh, and examine um, how, the, how, how that interaction works, uh, which you can maybe, um, or um, what your role, what your part uh, in that interaction is uh, with uh, with mostly the aim to 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 change the interaction for for a better purpose mm -hmm. yes um, yes if it's clear yeah. <laughs> yes and uh, family constellations um so like like the name says it it, um, it's about how you take your position in your family system uh, and then there are three laws uh, in your family system and those three those three laws um, also immediately reflects how uh, how you go through life so if you have any um, any patterns um, you want to break but you just can't uh, break it uh, they they seem to um, follow you around mm -hmm. it usually comes from how you stand in your family constellation mm -hmm. yes oh, i love i love how you you take us along in this and it sounds really clear and and to me I, and if anyone that joins us now and have any has any questions please type them in the chat box or send them all over um i was interrupting you a little bit Did, were you already you were you were going into family constellations and how to uh how there are three laws and that we can kind of use this method if we feel stuck in a situation or or, or if if some patterns seem to follow us around how to kind of break through them and, and change the way we behave uh, around these patterns um what else what else can we do with family constellations and what is it uh what else can we do um well the the the, the most part is uh breaking breaking uh limiting beliefs and patterns mm -hmm. because how you how you stand in your family constellation um how you view your mother and father for most part is um is your is your is your background is your uh, safety. Um, I'm looking for the word um, foundation. Foundation. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. If you are able to uh, accept uh, your mom and dad fully for who they are, that will make the difference in your life. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're uh, if you're able to to have them behind you, uh, miracles can happen. Mm. So beautiful. Yes, miracles can truly happen, and um, I'm I'm super passionate about this myself, and have not only been guiding others in this, but also have experienced it. How more and more miracles are happening for me and around me, and I, I know the world should know about it. Um, but I would love to ask you, like, what what does today's topic mean to you? The, the topic how to find clarity with family constellations like could you maybe bring us with with you like what does it mean to you and and uh yeah um, it means mostly everything um for um like many people uh, uh, like many people uh, i struggled a lot in life um and 
a few years ago, I discovered uh, systemic work and um, also family constellation, family constellations, uh, and already with uh, with uh, systemic work, I was already in awe of um, of the of the effect it can have. And um, sometimes you uh, sometimes you use um, just Lego puppets, or we uh, uh, and or we even used Smurfs, yeah. um, and the effect that's that something so simple uh, can have on your life it's uh, it's amazing and uh, how you can uh, help yourself with it mm -hmm. but then i also discovered family constellations and since i've discovered that and experienced it myself uh, like um, my last own constellation was uh, i guess almost um, two months ago well there is a life before the weekend and the life after <laughs> <laughs> wow oh my god i so love to get into that and i see you shine i mean for people listening now to this podcast version um sarah is really beaming light and shining <laughs> with, with the biggest smile i see the difference in the before and after um and and also you you touched base on something that i just feel like explaining just a little bit for people uh, new uh, around this you said something yeah we work with smurfs or little puppets or lego puppets and then you said i also discovered family constellations and um so for people that have never heard of this or you know don't don't yet know much about this um could you maybe uh help us understand what you mean with what do we do then with the smurfs what what is that and and what did you then do in the weekend like what what is the difference and you know if if us newbies like to understand it what what should we know uh well the technique that uh, uh that nowadays is most used is uh, making a, a literal constellation uh, and that can be with puppets smurfs um, or any object yeah. um, but what's really popular is also making a constellation um, with other people who are repre who are representing um, your family or the concept you want to uh, examine mm -hmm. so what you do is uh, you, you have a question um, and then and then you ask someone or, or you find an object uh, uh, to re represent yourself uh, and all the people and concepts uh, that can be uh, involved in the subject and how they re react or how you put them uh, on your constellation reflects on how you view them or how you view it and how it uh, interacts with each other. Yes. Thank you so much for this beautiful explanation. I feel that this way it might be a little just easier to comprehend um, that there are different approaches within the family constellation work. So we can work with the puppets and you know maybe put them on a table and just put yourself in the middle and put different situations around you and kind of examine that through that way. and. There's also just giving like a little uh, recap of what you just said. Like there's also then uh, working with real people representing uh, people of your family constellation, or like you said, like a, a situation, or maybe uh, a physical ache, or or pain, or ailments, or um, any other question that you feel needs to be examined. Th this can be done either through real people representing or through puppets or um, pieces of wood sometimes even <laughs> yeah it just needs an anchor yes and that can yes the anchor can be anything uh we lastly uh use people and objects yes as anchors <laughs> yeah we can and the beauty is you can get so creative yeah <laughs> uh yes and also even uh, pieces of paper, right, with uh, names written on it. Uh, we, th that's even an option. Yeah, that's also interesting because then you can experience uh, yourself by standing on on those uh, pieces of paper how how that person or that concept uh, feels. Mm -hmm. mm. And um, science science uh, science hasn't not yet uh, figured out. Uh, figured out how it exactly works, works, 
but once you uh, make a constellation, some kind of energy field opens up mm -hmm. and you are able to, to, to receive uh, uh, the, the, the energy that needs to be uh, addressed. Yes. So, so when you stand on the piece of paper, you can feel what needs to be filled. Mm -hmm. Yes, I love how you point this out. It, it's almost, it is a form of energy work in that sense. And the one guiding it, but also the one uh, undergoing the, the constellation is then somehow because of this energy field um, open to, to kind of channeling whatever needs to be downloaded or felt or understood. Mm -hmm. um, and um, it's, it's pretty sacred work if you, if you, if yeah. you can see it. Or say it yeah, that way. there are a lot of people, and uh, also in my last constellation, um, so, uh, someone was asked um, asked uh, to represent someone, um, and they said, "Well, yeah, but I don't know if I can. Uh, I don't know how to." Uh, but then they get up, and just something clicks, and they just go, mm -hmm. and it comes out. Yes. yes so sometimes if for example, if you if after this podcast and you've never done a constellation uh, before and you feel like, hey, I'd like to try that out and you find someone in your neighborhood and you or you, you go and find Sar um, and you feel ready to uh, to do a constellation for yourself or a situation or a pattern. And if you do this with other people, then you might experience that um, that someone else will be standing into your cast, uh, constellation and they might be feeling or saying words, hearing words or mm -hmm. feeling feeling that uh, that person representing your situation uh, might also be feeling or hearing or experiencing. And that's kind of almost magic that sometimes seems to happen. Yeah. We call it magic, right? It's almost a form of magic. It is magical. You, you hear um, you so often hear like, well, oh, that's exactly how they are. It's that's exactly how they respond. Yeah. It's exactly yeah. what they would say or do. Yeah. It's like, oh my god, <laughs> it's just exactly the same. And it's and um and it's someone else uh doing that um who 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 doesn't know you at all mm -hmm. or the person yeah. uh or or the person uh that that he's. Uh, he's representing yes yeah, that's the beauty of it. They, they they often don't even know that person or they don't know the situation they cannot even know it and then still they know. um yes still they know or feel and um um you were we've now kind of touched base on some of these um some of the information that I felt was needed maybe to explain just a little bit. Um, but you were also going to explain how you've experienced your own like family constellation and there was a before SAR and there was a <laughs> SAR version of you after. Um, wh what happened and, and what was your experience? Um, well, I had some 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 really stubborn pattern uh, I couldn't shake off, even though I knew better and I knew how to cope with it uh, and to handle it. But it just mm, and I knew where it came from uh, and how it worked, but I really couldn't shake it off. So so I asked the question uh, in a constellation, and um, and we worked uh, with it uh, and. For me, this time it was mostly about my dad, um, how to how to um, take my spot um, as his daughter and to uh, to accept him as my father. And after that, uh, I don't know. It's just I feel so more free. Um, what I couldn't shake off, uh, like um, anxiety for, for certain things, I still feel it, but it's just, yeah, it, it, it doesn't affect me as much as uh, anymore. For example, um, before, the, uh, before, before the constellation, I would be like almost sick of nerves to do this. Um, uh, that this podcast, um, I would be so nervous and, uh, and telling myself like, oh, I can do this. Mm. And now, yeah, I'm still nervous, but I'm, I'm doing it. Yeah, you're doing <laughs> it. <my job. laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, so yeah, it's it, it's really amazing. It's it's uh, it's another life, and people also um, give back to me that I'm that I've grown so much, that mm. that I seem so, so much more um, mature mm -hmm. and more more open. And that's yeah. also really nice to hear. Yeah, those are the most beautiful compliments, and it's amazing to see you shine this way, girl. <laughs> um, Thank you. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> if, it, if it's okay with you, just, just feel into what you want to share, of course. Um, but would you maybe take us with you a bit on, on what your journey has been like, also your entrepreneurial journey, and then around family constellations, like, um, you know, what, where have you, where were you once um, in life, maybe on some lows, and then now you're you're here right you you feel so much brighter lighter you've um you've grown so much you get you even get that feedback um so what were some of the lows that you worked through and to get to to where you are today and um yeah could you maybe share a little bit about it yeah well i guess in some ways it's a bit of a classic story like um i uh, i always had trouble uh, finding my place and fitting in um, I just I just didn't know how to how, how to fit in with uh, people and how to uh, react I, I I always adapted to, to others just to, to to fit in and find my place mm -hmm. it of course didn't work uh, um, and the result was that I uh, stranded stranded away from myself uh, Yes, like you were, yeah, you, you got, you stranded somewhere, like you mean you, you got out of yourself, really, out of connection? I got out of, out of myself, I didn't know who I was, um, uh, and that, that got really deep, um, like five, five years ago, uh, with, with the lowest point, the lowest point being five years ago, yeah. uh, I just didn't know what to do anymore, and um, it was it was really dark. Mm -hmm. uh, shortly after uh, after that, I met you uh, uh, on a retreat, mm -hmm. uh, and that retreat was like the turning point for me. Um, I we did um, 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 energetic work, like and multidimensional work, and that's where um, I discovered my own light, and that was the turning point. Like um, I. Um, I started to uh, I started to feel better, but um, mostly, uh, but, uh, but most importantly, I had hope and faith. Uh, like I knew, when well, I'm supposed to be here, uh, and this is who I am, and it's okay. So then I went on with uh, emotional work, uh, um, some coaching. Um, uh, therapy, all different kinds of uh, emotional body work, mm -hmm. um, and that's also when I found uh, uh, systemic work. And now I'm also really into uh, breath work. Mm -hmm. um, so in in my experience, those uh, three things like like uh, uh, like multidimensionality. Um, uh, Transcending experiences uh, and systemic work and breath work; those three are like the the, the golden egg of of, of personal de uh, and soul development and soul healing. Mm, yes, I see you. <laughs> I don't say. know if you agree, but yeah. <laughs> for me, those are those combined are like the golden egg. Oh, girl, I so agree with you. Um, um, for people that are listening but not seeing our expressions, I'm like nodding my For head me. really excited like uh, and my hands on my heart like yes girl <laughs> um, <laughs> bouncing around. yes like i totally see it that way for me this 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 triangle of of uh, methods um and then sometimes adding some extra there uh, here and there mm -hmm. around it um this is such yeah like a, a golden egg but like so, such a magical approach to to healing ourselves um, on so many la layers. So if you're also on an entrepreneurial journey and you have more of a business 
point of view oh what's your life and business change if you go uh, implement this triangle or this golden egg in your life um and also also if you're not into business or not so much yet sure if you ever want to uh you know create your own programs or be a coach or you know maybe you're you're still figuring out things around that um Whatever, whatever your journey is, if you could implement all these things in your life, it will change for the good, for yes. sure. Yes. <laughs> and buckle up because it's going to be a hell, right? <laughs> yes. But the result yes. will Let's be see. that you uh, uh, that you're in, in contact uh, in contact with yourself and um, and can guide yourself. Uh, in how you want to feel and how you react to certain things and just live your best life. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. Yes. I mean, who doesn't want that? Um, and it's good that you say that you point out buckle up because it's going to be a hell of a ride. I mean, yes, you know, we've come out at, at some other end now, uh, being all excited, yeah. jumping about this type of work. But when we f first start this, if you haven't done that type of inner work yet it is going to be a right you dear one you're listening or watching this today um, because you will be you will be facing some emotions that you might have stored or st tucked away deep down and of course it's not going to it's not going to be easy every day no uh, no <laughs> no so let's keep it real yeah i'm grateful that you pointed out sarah because you're right it's not it's not supposed to be easy either <laughs> yeah i mean yeah if it were easy then you know it, it's a skill to be trained and it will get easier and easier and better and better yes just take it one step at a time yeah i still know um uh what you said like a couple of years ago to me like uh oh i was crying so much and and i loved it so much i was like oh finally and i was like huh? what do you mean like okay i somewhere get what you mean but uh, i don't know i don't know and now i'm like oh crying let it out finally <laughs> <laughs> i still oh, got what you mean <laughs> oh, oh nice yes i remember that yeah, like, how can one be totally excited about how, how good crying can be, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know if you know that uh, uh, picture with uh, um, that says, uh, like, what people think uh, spiritual awakening is like, and with rainbows and unicorns and happy, bright colors, and what it's actually like. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And it's and dark then... and thunder. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, bomb. Like, da -da -da -da. It's it is pretty it is a pretty rough ride for sure. It's it can feel like some darkness and thunder out there, and then then as you go through it, at some point those rainbows will shine again. Yeah, go for it. You'll love it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this is such a. I love I love how this talk turned out today. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> also in the meantime, I see that many people joined us. Uh, Rally, uh, the uh, the Grand Dame Hamama retreats, Budo for Durf, Jake, Jake, Adam, Davy. Hi, great that you're here. I see Liana Feinstra. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. And if you have a question, we're talking about the topic how to find clarity with family constellations. You can find this uh, recorded video on our Instagram page later on, and we'll, we'll make sure to edit it so that you can uh, find it on our uh, podcast show as well called Pain to Peace Podcast. And if you have a question now as you're joining us live, you can uh, uh, put your questions in the comment box below if you like. Um, I remember we, we do have, we did get some questions. Um, and it was one question around how can we uh, implement or use family constellations if if we're working on a business and have a pattern uh, or or a block there. That's one question. And the other one was more about how do we work with family constellations um, um, when we what was it again? When we have suppressed emotions, yeah. I think was the other one. Um, would you be okay if we dive a little into those? Yeah, sure. 
okay, could you maybe <laughs> shine a light, shine your lights on on this? Uh, um, well, well, to start with the uh, uh, with the suppressed emotions, you can easily uh, j just make a constellation um, with with the suppressed emotion you are experiencing. For, for example, um, I thought you said it was mostly about anger. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, you can you can you can make a constellation f um, uh, with someone representing yourself, uh, the anger. And I'd probably start with um, with uh, the father and probably uh, the um, the male line because um, anger um, has to do with um, has has mostly to do with um, putting boundaries mm -hmm. and setting boundaries in, in your life and for yourself comes from how you view your dad. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. That's my first guess, but you can. Um, it's uh, it's also a possible. Uh, it's also a possibility that you uh, that you've taken on uh, an emotion that's not even yours, mm -hmm. and that's actually a. A completely, uh, a completely other subject because it it is possible to take on emotions and uh, and patterns that aren't yours. Yes, um, you can have taken them on uh, from other people in your constellation, alive or um, uh, or probably already deceased. Mm -hmm. But that has to do with the second law of fa of family constellation that. Um, Everyone and everything um, in the constellation um, has its place, mm -hmm. and when some so, uh, when someone or something doesn't get acknowledged or doesn't have it, uh, its place, the, the family um, the family system, the consciousness will make sure it it, it gets seen and it uh, picks someone uh, to 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 make it visible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is a deep answer. Thank you. I love it, and I I agree with you on on uh, figuring out how you know. Also, the are there any emotions of other people that you're carrying or that you're attached to somehow unknowingly? And then also we could view um, the approach of of boundaries and and look at the male line, and then maybe even adding there that sometimes it can also be really interesting in how our mothers and the mother line have uh, learned how to set boundaries and work around that or how to express their unexpressed emotions so there are so many approaches yeah right and it might be interesting to do all of them <laughs> yeah yes and, um, and only uh, only the energy knows uh where where it wants to go on that moment exactly uh, and it takes like um uh, a good coach to 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 be able to uh, to to let that energy flow mm -hmm. and yes. to know where to go yes yes i love that so this is on how to work with the suppressed emotions um and we looked at anger as an example here um is there anything else that you'd like to share on this here uh, um, like about uh, 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 suppressed emotions? Yeah, maybe like before I go to the other question on on how to work or implement a constellation, uh, a constellation um, maybe in in a more of a business uh, type of um, of work. Um, I was wondering, like, did, do you have anything else to say on the suppressed emotion uh, constellation? Well, yeah, there's so much to say. Um, but now I, I, I don't know what. Um, there doesn't stand anything specifically mm -hmm. out to 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 address at the moment. Maybe, maybe what I feel like you started with three laws, right? And you just explained to us second law on how the energy um, or how the family consciousness um how everyone has its place in it and how we can be uh, uh how if some things are not seen or not acknowledged um that we can sometimes carry unknowingly some of these um 
some of these things in our, our family constellations. Mm -hmm. That's the second law. Maybe you could help help repeat the other two laws just for people mm -hmm. listening. Okay, well, uh, the first law is uh, any relationship um, has to have a balance in giving and receiving. Um, and there is one exception, the, the relationship between uh, uh, between the parents and, uh, and and the child, because the parents gives lives and uh, gives life, mm -hmm. and the child is never able to to um, to to give that back uh, in the same way. So so that's the only uh, only exception. But for uh, any other relationship, giving and receiving has to be has to be equal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and so, so, so the second one: um, uh, uh, every person, every member, and every uh, some concepts uh, happenings has uh, uh, have their place in the constellations. And the third one is um, everyone, uh, or, or the constellation has a has a kind of uh, order mm -hmm. in where they come. And um, there's one uh, writer, uh, no, I forgot her name, uh, from the fact, Els van Stein. Yes. She has a beautiful, she has a beautiful, uh, mm. uh, a beautiful, uh, beautiful metaphor about the fountain, mm -hmm. uh, where, where everyone has their own uh, level in the fountain, and one level isn't uh, better or uh, less good uh, than the other. But it's just the order that it's in and it's that's how it's supposed to be and if you're in the correct um, bin of the fountain yeah. you you are best to receive the flow yes. um, flow of energy yes so yeah uh, you have your uh, you have your parents above you um, you and all of your siblings uh, are below that and your children are below uh, and so on and so on um, yeah um, and there are uh, even three ways where you can uh, you can find yourself uh, you're not in the correct place in the fountain. Uh, so you find yourself you're, 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 you've risen up to, to above your parents, and there are three ways where you um, how, how you how you subconsciously can do that. So you can. I'm struggling with with explaining it in English. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll I'll come and join. So um, just just to repeat it. So um, so if you've just explained to us the three laws on you know how it works within family constellations, uh, the three laws uh, that are important to to remember. And then you you took us with you um, into the uh, to explaining how. Uh, with the last, the third law, how uh, with the met uh, the metaphor of uh, Els von Stein, one of a, a beautiful uh, author around uh, um, systemic work and family constellations, and she has this metaphor of looking at our family constellations as a fountain with these layers, the the bowls of the fountain that are filled with water, and then if the upper bowl, you know, is filled up with water, it will the water will flow over the edges into the the bowl that is underneath that and it goes on and it goes on and it goes on so yeah. this you took us you took us along in that so to help make it visible on how uh, every uh, generation really like grandparents and their siblings and their lines should be on one of the upper bowl let's just say it that way then parents our parents uh, or you know the children of the grandparents they go in the bowl underneath that and the water flows if everything is in balance Water will flow over the edges into the children underneath that. And you were now taking us along in, um, okay, what happens? How, how can we discover if things are in balance or not? And how, how or what, there are three ways you said, how we can see um, if we are stuck or if things are not flowing, if the water of that fountain is not flowing well, right? Yeah, okay, thank you. Uh, well, the first reason um, the, the fountain is not flowing is when you take on a responsibility, responsibility that it's, that's not yours. Mm -hmm. um, as a kid, uh, the only thing you want, f you want for your, from your parents is that um, it's a good heart. 
yeah um but there um yeah the, as a kid you want your your you mean the parents should want that for their kid right or do you mean it the other way around the other way the other way around yes so as a kid viewing your parents you would want your parents to do well right and be happy and, yeah. and joyous and and graciously going through life as a kid you'll bend over backwards just to make sure um that uh, that they're doing well um uh, you'll go so far subconsciously again um mm -hmm. th uh, that you even um have the result that your life is getting worse ju just to make sure um their life uh, will get better but the thing is that's not possible um it's not respond it's not your responsibility um how their life is going it's that's their faith uh, and um you can't you can't change that by 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 your by your behavior yes <laughs> yes it's really clear this way i love how you explain this one so this is one Right, one example how we can see it. We, we're taking on too much responsibility, uh, even though it comes from this innocent place of a kid that wants their parents to do well. Right? It comes from love. It comes from love. It might just not work for, for no one really. And also, we know it in ourselves, in our bodies, when we get ill or when you know we we, we kind of seem to jump on other bowls of that fountain and try to get up to them sometimes yeah. is that what you want to say yeah and um even as a uh, even as a baby we on some level know um it doesn't feel right um it's 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 not a good thing but but as a baby we're not able to to stop ourselves mm -hmm. uh, and so we can implement uh, the pattern uh, and and take it along with us uh, in our adult life until we decide to, to 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 just take on our own faith yeah yes oh, yes thank you for for pointing that out and so what else how, how 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 else can we see that we're we're stuck or that the fountain is not flowing how how can we notice it you you said there are more ways to see it yeah the second way is uh is where you uh what is where you judge your parents mm. most uh for most part yeah um and the thing is um you are your parents you're half your father half your, uh, half your mother and the moment you judge one of them or both of them you rise in the fountain uh, and you judge basically yourself mm -hmm. and you think um bad judgment you think um you put yourself higher than your parents, so 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 you're not able to to pick on the flow of the fountain. Mm -hmm. Yes, beautiful explained, beautifully explained. Yes, so this way we cannot receive what is actually meant for us, and uh, this way we are also not receiving life the way it's supposed to be received. Now, and your parents are your parents; they're the perfect fit for you, and they do and they give what they have, and if they could. Um, what else uh, also re uh, really be beautifully says, like, if they could have given more, they would have. Mm. But, but they're, uh, but they're um, their own person, and yeah, it's how they are. And they, they do what they can, and that's yeah. your faith. Yeah. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. Thank you uh, also for people just hopping in. We're we're diving into today's topic how to find clarity with family constellations i saw that uh louisa and son of Stain also joined thank you for being here if you have any questions you can put them in the chat box below uh, or you'll find um and you'll find this recording on our social media later if you want to watch it again uh, we'll also make sure that it will be a podcast in the future um and uh, sarah's taking us along in how can we find how can we discover that things are not flowing well uh, in ourselves, in our lives, and we are going um, into the third, third one right now. Um, also, um, looking at the time, we're having such a great conversation. I could go oh, on my. for hours. Um, 
Uh, we also have like a little exercise that we're going to go into in a bit. And uh, so we might go a, a bit over time. I'm just checking with you. Are you okay with that, Sar? Yes, sir. Um, okay. We're just getting started. We're just getting started, right? Yes. And we might get back on this because there's so much more to say. So maybe there's another one uh, coming up to, to maybe appear <laughs> you. Um, yes so uh where were we we are diving into how can we discover that things are not in balance that we might be on the wrong spot in that fountain metaphor of the little bowls that have water flowing over and if things are going well and right if we're at our right spot then we receive that beautiful flow and then we pass it on to life underneath us right uh, if things are not aligned then we might notice that that flow is not coming because we're not standing on the right spot. Or, as you just said, we might be taking on things for others. Um, what, what was the third one? Um, so, so the first one was, um, was taking on um, uh, a responsibility uh, that's not yours. Uh, the second one is judging your parents. Mm -hmm. uh, the third one is, um, um, is something we, um, we actually uh, already um, uh, um, already discussed a little bit is where you is where you experience patterns, uh, emotions, feelings that uh, that that aren't yours, and that has to do with the second law that everything and everyone um, ha has the right to his place. Yeah. Uh, and when someone or something isn't recognized um, or isn't allowed uh, to to be. The, the the family consciousness um, will will take someone on uh, in later generations to 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 make it uh, to make it visible anyway. Yeah. Yes. Yes, and that that child or that person that 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 you know that can be all of us that that carries just a little bit that needs to be you know that that comes through us because it needs to be viewed upon anyway. Um, and if that happens to you, you'll notice it, right? You, you'll notice it physically, you'll notice it by maybe not feeling worthy of life sometimes, or um, we can notice these, these struggles in many ways. Uh, this can be in diseases, physical uh, aches and pains. It can be in well, worthiness of life and gifts. Um, we can notice it in, in relationships or, or, you know, any any patterns or behaviors that 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 take us out of, of situations or, or make us feel really unhappy you know all these types of mental illnesses can also come along uh, in this yeah 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 depression uh, anxiety um but uh, 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 but this is the hardest one to uh, to point out um uh, or to find out uh, that this is the case, mm -hmm. that this is happening. Mm -hmm. um, you really need a constellation uh, to, to find out that you've taken on emotions and patterns uh, 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 that aren't yours. Yeah. Yes. Yes, um, there are so many layers to this family constellation work. Uh, like you, you just said, Sar, um, um, one of the more advanced type of constellation will probably show uh, whether you're carrying something of the family consciousness that you're attached to which which might not be yours and it could be it could need several constellations for you to do with a professional it could also need a very skilled professional to make sure that you uh, and that professional are um, have the the safety and the right energy and environment to discover if that's the case for you um, yeah. and it, it could be good anyway to just start doing some constellation work for yourself and and you know walk your way through it step by step and you'll discover it at some point what you what you already can discover is how you feel right sometimes we kind of know that things are not so nice um we often feel it and it's it's already a big step to acknowledge it often to feel into it that's already a step for people mm -hmm. um, and then there's hope because there are many methods to do things and yeah. one of them is what we're discussing today what we we're discussing um 
we've we've touched on so many things now. Um, I'm just I'm just like checking like okay, um, where to go from here? Um, it, would it be an idea to uh, because you've shared already tips and tricks, tools really? We also went there. You you shared a beautiful book by Els van Stein. Um, I'm just looking at here. There's also another book. It's a Dutch book, and I'm I might be adding some English literature on this as well to the show notes because I feel it might be interesting for people. Mm -hmm. uh, this Dutch book that I've got here is by uh, Elmer Hendricks, um, and that that book is called Sinnen die de Ziel Raken, oh. which is translated into um, sentences that touch the soul mm. and. Yeah. And it's also it's beautiful. It's it's for if you are a therapist or or a, a, a so a coach that likes to work with constellations, uh, then that might also be those two books: Els van Stein, The Fountain, and this one, um, Sentences That Touch the Soul by Elmer. Yeah, uh, those those are two beautiful books to to get your hands on. Um, and also, if you'd like to try constellations and are not yet ready to guide others through it. Um, still good books. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Especially, uh, especially uh, the fountain uh, from Elsa. It's really a hands-on, um, basic book that explains it all. Yeah, it's really yeah, accessible. Yes, yes, really tangible. Um, but maybe not only explaining and giving tips and tricks and books and ideas. <laughs> would it be okay? Sarah, if you if you take us along in a little exercise on how we could maybe even experience what it is, I thought this was coming, <laughs> um, but yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you didn't ask beforehand, but it's okay. <laughs> I did send it in the email, but that's okay. already months ago. Oh yes. Well, I knew it anyway. Okay, I know you. <laughs> You're good at it. I'm grateful that you'll do it. Thank you, dear. Okay. Um, uh, 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 let's do let's do an exercise um, like a small small meditation slash slash visualization where you can uh, experience uh, immediately how you how you view your parents uh, and how how you feel on your place in your in your constellation. Mm, yay! I will join. Okay. Um, just for people, for people seeing us, they'll see us in, in front of the camera. And for people listening to us, uh, we're just going to sit, follow our voice. And I'm joining, putting my feet on the ground and sitting on the chair. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, just, uh, just sit back, relax on your chair, um, but sit straight uh, with a straight back and just put your feet on, on the ground. Feel your feet, feet on the ground, and if you want, you can close your eyes. You can also just um, just slightly have them open, but if it's okay, just have them closed. And just feel yourself sitting on the chair to start with. the breath, notice where it's going, and take, and take a deep breath in, hold it, and breathe. Let's do it again. So a deep breath in. Really good. And we'll go. With the next inhale, take your shoulders up to your ears. Hold it again. And with your exhale, <sighs> let go. Two more times on your own face.
And take on your own, own natural breath rhythm again. Now imagine there's a cord uh, around your heart and it goes downwards uh, via your spine through your tailbone into the ground. With every exhale, the cord goes deeper into the earth. Deeper and then you come to the heart of the earth, and then, and then you can plant your cords in the heart of the earth. And there's also a cord from your heart that's going up through your neck, through your head, and so into the sky. And this cord as well um, goes higher with every exhale until you find the center of the sky where you can plant your cord in. So, so you've really centered yourself on earth, earth in the sky. Your parents are appearing behind you. A mother, a, a mother, your mother behind your left shoulder and your father behind your right shoulder. Mm -hmm. Just notice how it feels. Mm -hmm. We're not looking at them. You know how they stand there. Are they looking at you? What feeling do they give you? And they both put their hand on your shoulder. And you can lean on them. You can lean into, into, into the strength and stability of your parents. You know how that feels. You are, you are allowed to lean on them because, because they too uh, lean on their parents. Just be there for a moment. Your own feet again. The birds are still behind you. You can stand on your own two feet on your place in the world.
to breathe. You notice uh, where you are again. Feel your feet on the ground. Maybe you wiggle a bit. Move your hands. Come back and open your eyes. Wow. Thank you for guiding us through this beautiful meditation and visualization. In the meantime, some more people joined us here. Um, Carla, Nico, Walter, thank you for being here. We've just been guided through a beautiful, beautiful visualization uh, and meditation, connecting to the heart of the earth and the heart of the sky. And then looking at our parents being placed behind us, doing an, um, an exercise uh, on how do we feel in our family constellation, what, what type of emotions come up. Um, is there anything that you'd like to say to that, sir? Like, I, I, I could share a bit how it was for me, but maybe you'd like to add some info there for people that have just gone through this with you. Um, well, I'm, cur uh, I'm curious uh, if you joined, uh, if you joined us, uh, how it was for you. So, um, if you feel like it, please share. Yes. Yes, please do. Yes, great. Um, and uh, for, for me, it was uh, that that goes for everyone listening as well. If you if you've done this exercise and it has been helpful or you've experienced some feelings, please reach out um, to either Sarah or us. Um, for me, um, having done a lot of inner work now, uh, these exercises are still still valuable and still super beautiful and still deep. Um, and for me this time, um, there was already, again, much more peace than the last mm -hmm. time. So there's still growth and also still things that I see there happening, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Regarding maybe some eye concept uh, here and there <laughs> or also not. And then on the other side, um, <clears throat> but more eye contact also more than before so there's there is there are shifts happening wow. um and it made me feel yeah it was good and also it feels like the ancestors are there stronger than before uh, which is also also on the right side for me which which we, there's a shift happening it's yeah. beautiful <laughs> how amazing yeah yes um, uh yeah it feels it feels really great <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i can see mm -hmm. Thank you, dear. Thank you for bringing us all this beauty today. Um, and regarding the time and respecting that of yours as well, um, is it okay for you if we if we if we move towards towards the end questions and and um, yeah? Okay. Yes, I see you. No. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Um, so one of the last questions that I always ask is um, when it comes to, we call it like the three gifts. Um, so is there any saying, a motto or a book or, or an insight that has been, that that are have been important to you or three of them um, that you live by or that you've just discovered recently and that, that is on your mind constantly? What is it that 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 is important to you in that sense that you live by? Um, well, I guess that's uh, my core uh, belief that gets mm -hmm. me by and, and just guides, guides my, my way. Um, is that we're all, uh, is that we're all just supernatural, multidimensional uh, beings, um, humans with, um, with, Pure love and light. Mm -hmm. So, and if we, we are, if we are able to, to let that out, to just be the love and light, um, yeah, amazing things can happen. And it's also okay to just be human and just 
uh, be stuck sometimes and feel really bad uh, and just don't feel as lovely and lightly as can be. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like, yes, it's a human experience and it's yeah. a very much supernatural human experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Both light and sometimes dark. Yeah. Mm. I love that. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. And deep breathing. Deep breathing. Good one. It's and really important. Yeah. <laughs> so helpful. But also on the deeper level, like Yeah, it sounds so easy, but it's it's goes it goes so much so, uh, so much deeper than most people know. Mm -hmm. There's breath work is an art. Yeah. There's it's true art. And uh, we can heal a lot of things with breath work. Wow. <laughs> Could you repeat that one more time? What did you say? Just keep breathing. Yes. Just keep breathing. Oh, thank you so much, dear Sire, um, for this beautiful mm -hmm. connection, for this beautiful conversation, for everything we, we touched upon. I mean, there was so much, there's so much goodness in this. Yeah. Um, just. Uh, uh, one more thing, um, we'll put it in the show notes, of course, but just for people listening that are driving in their cars, for example, and, and don't have the show notes with them, mm -hmm. could you maybe uh, spell out your your name or your Instagram or your website? Where can people find you uh, if they want to work with you? You can find me on my Instagram or, and Facebook. Uh, I think that's, that's the most convenient part. I'm most active on that. Uh, and on Instagram, uh, um, at uh, Saar VW, so S A A R V W, and um, on Facebook, uh, just my name, Saar van Wonderen. Yes, so that's S A A R V V A N W O N D E R E N. Perfect. Yes, and this is also where we can find your website, right? Uh, um, yeah, my website is. Von Wonderen Kindercoaching <laughs> That's my last name. And then um yeah. Kinder. Should I spell it? <laughs> well let's do it. It's it's K I N D E R and then coaching yeah. dot N L. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, this is helpful, right? For people that want to remember it um but have not uh, do not have the the possibility now as they are listening maybe. Um, yeah. So thank you so much for that. We got to spell that out. Please go and find this beautiful woman. She might be help you. She might be able to help you on on all these levels. And uh, um, if there's any questions, you'll know where to find us and find all the information in the show notes as well. Um, forever grateful for this beautiful talk. And it felt like there's more to say. So you might see us back someday. <laughs> Let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> And for now, thank you so much for your time, for you, Sar, sharing your precious time with us and being of service on such a beautiful level. And also for everybody that has been watching today uh, or listening, um, thank you so much for, um, for being here, for sharing your precious time out of your busy schedules, uh, allowing yourself to learn and discover and heal and um, break through limiting beliefs. Um, I hope that you, uh, that you find your way to create this golden triangle or golden egg in your own life um, to, uh, to implement uh, the healing on such an accelerated level um, because your life will look a whole lot different in five years from now if you do. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you. For <laughs> yes. What did you say? Exhibit A. <laughs> Exactly, two exhibits here. Oh, uh, A and B. Um, and we hope you are C and D and E and F and yeah. all of them. Um, yeah. Um, sending you off into the rest of your day or night, wherever you are. Thank you so much for, uh, for everything and um, see you on the next one. Mm. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Pleasure. Bye. Bye.